Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm very excited because I want to share with you some of my favorite fall outfits. Fall is my absolute favorite time of year. I love everything about fall. I love fall fashion. Um, jeans, t-shirts, chunky sweaters, boots, it's where it's at for me. It is my absolute favorite way to dress. Really, I, I wish I could dress like that year round. I love fall. So I wanted to share with you things that are currently available. All of these things that I'm about to show you in this video are things you can run out and grab if you see something that really just, you know, you really like. And I like these kinds of videos. Let me know down below if you do enjoy this. I've started incorporating more outfits here on my channel because I've always been into fashion. It's always been my number one favorite thing. So I have things ranging from Target. So the first thing I want to share with you is Target. Target has great fashion, honestly. A lot of the times you can find the same styles at Target that you'll see at higher end department stores. And so the first thing I want to share with you is this t-shirt. I have a lot of Target t-shirts. Target's kind of like my go-to for t-shirts. This particular one happens to be V-neck, which I like if you're going to do like a statement necklace with it because then it kind of covers up the neck and it's just a little bit more of a dressier style tee to have the V versus the crew. Now I do have another shirt that I picked up in a maroon color to match this sweater um, from Target and that one is the crew neck. I think crew is just a little bit more sporty, a little bit more casual to me. However, you could throw a blazer over a crew neck t-shirt and have it look just as, just as good, you know? But anyway, so this sweater is from Target. This t-shirt is from Target, I, both completely affordable. I think the sweater was under $30 for sure. It might have been like $25 or $20. I know the t-shirts, I got them buy one, get one, half off. And I think right now, I just recently looked online then they were $8. So I love a lighter weight knit sweater, especially for layering. Because sometimes, like, their mornings are really cool in the fall, but then, you know, the sun comes up and it heats up in the daytime. You want to be able to take the sweater off. Or maybe, maybe it just it consistently stays cool. You can easily throw a jacket over this lightweight sweater if you needed to. I love that it has pockets. It does have the ability to button up if you need to button it for whatever reason. I like that it's kind of like a boyfriend style, but it's not too boxy. I don't like a sweater that is too boxy because then it just it just looks like you're wearing a box. So it just you lose your shape, you know. And and I I think feminine curves on a woman are just they should be shown off. So I bought a small in both the t-shirt and in the sweater. So I love that it's lightweight. I'm very much into like this speckled, freckled kind of knit. I just love the look of it and when you buy something that has several different colors throughout it you can pair it with so many different things like I have a mustard yellow shirt on I have a maroon shirt I already own a navy shirt and a blue shirt and all of those colors run throughout this sweater so you can pair it with so many different things I like that it has the slits on the side um, that way the sweater isn't too tight around your hips that will happen with some sweaters when they don't have the slit it doesn't have any room to move the sweater moves with you it's not too heavy it's easy to layer and I absolutely love it. So I'm basically wearing the same jeans in all of these outfits just because, well, for ease. Um, so some things I might not necessarily pair with this color of jean, but I just left them on because honestly, I was sweating to death. I'm putting these clothes on. It's super humid out this morning. And I, I was like, man, of all the mornings, like we had a few cool mornings and then today just happened to be like seriously hot. But um, I still wanted to wear them and show them to you. So I didn't, I didn't like, you know, like, Normally I would have put on like a black pair of jeans or something else to go with the outfit is what I'm trying to say. But I really love these jeans. These are Joe's jeans. I picked them up at Nordstrom Rack. These are Joe's jeans. I love the the little step up thing that's very much in right now. And so I feel like that kind of adds an element of dressiness. And it also gives the ability to show off your boot a little bit more. Especially if you have a boot that has a lot more detail going on or whatever. Because um, it kind of just picks up the jean from where it would normally lay. And if you're someone like me, I am five foot four, and so I carry a lot more of my height in my torso up, so my legs are kind of short. So I have a struggle with jeans because a lot of jeans just bunch up at the bottom and it just makes me look even shorter because my skinny jeans are now all bunched up at the bottom. And I know you short girls out there or short legged girls out there completely understand what I'm saying. But I love these because the waist is higher so it, it kind of comes up a little bit higher and it hugs my curves really nicely and it shows off my figure. Um, but they're not too long is what I'm trying to say. And if you shop at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack, they do offer free alterations if you have their uh, Nordstrom credit card. So there's there's that too. But I love these jeans. I'm wearing them throughout all of my um, outfits. They do have a good amount of stretch in them. And they're just very comfortable. So I will leave the style number in the info box. I'll leave everything that I talk about in the info box so that you can reference these if you'd like to, you know, go try a pair on or just order them. And I believe they do free returns too. 
For size reference on the jeans, I bought a 27 in the Joe's jeans. All right, so I showed these in my September favorites, but I really love these boots. I love the color of them. I love how comfortable they are. I love the style. These are Vince Camuto. Um, I believe it's called Francia. I will leave the style below. Um, I purchased a size 8. I believe these run true to size. I'm basically an 8 in most shoes. I love the little cutouts. They're easy to slip on. There's no zippers. Uh, there, It has this little th detail right here to help you slip on this particular style. It has a block heel. It's not thin. It's sturdy. It's comfortable. I have a high arch, so I sometimes struggle, a lot of the time struggle, with anything that has a heel because if it's not the right angle, then my, my arch isn't supported and I, and I end up hating the shoe or returning it. I don't experience any soreness in these. I also was a little concerned about the pointed toe for those of us who have a little bit wider of a foot. This is nice. It's not too pointy. My toes don't feel sucked together. Um, I just think that it's really nice. There's an, a nice amount of room in here. These are suede. I love the color. This color is called Granite Peak, I believe. It's, it's a gray with a hint of blue, which is why it pairs beautifully with jeans. So next, I took off the sweater, jeans, and a t-shirt and boots. That's just like a staple outfit. Most people already have that in their wardrobe. You want to take it up, you want to dress it up a little bit more, and maybe not do the sweater for an evening out or you just want a little dressier of an outfit, a suede jacket. I really recommend picking up a suede jacket. Not only is it going to give you a little bit of warmth, that's not going to give you warmth in like, you know, a 32 degree day with a strong wind, all right? Um, but we're talking fall here, you know, those crisp mornings. I just love a suede jacket. It's classic. My, I remember my mom when I was like, well, actually when she was my age, she had suede jackets. Like this is just a classic piece. This particular one is the blank NYC brand from... Uh, Nordstrom, which isn't, I think that's their juniors line, and I bought a size small. Um, I would say I'm kind of broad-shouldered a little bit, like I have a little bit more muscular build up on top here. I would say this runs true to size. They had a really pretty caramely brown shade, but it had sold out at the time because I bought this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I really like this rust color. It just screams fall to me. It pairs beautifully, as you can see, with a mustard a shirt or with browns or with hunter greens, with blacks navies, whites, creams. It's just, I think it's a very versatile way to do a color is to go with like a rusty red. It, it's not a bright red. It's just a really lovely, it's so buttery soft. I love all the details of this particular jacket. I love the zippers on the arms so that if you want it to be a little bit more structured and tailored, you can zip that down. I love that you can pop up the collar on this if you like to wear it, you know, just a little bit more like I don't know, I think of like a fashion magazine or like a fashion model where you would pop the collar up on it. Uh, just depending on, you know, what kind of look you're going for. It has nice pockets to it. They also zip, so if you like to leave them open and you can, you know, walk with your hands in your pockets or whatever. It's just a very well-made, constructed, nice weight suede jacket. It's not chintzy. It's not cheap feeling. It's, it's I think, for the price, a very good buy. Well, what do you think of in the fall? plaid. I, I love plaids. I think plaids are so fun. Plaids are another great way, kind of like this sweater where you have a lot of colors running through it. You can pair a plaid with a lot of different things. You can dress a plaid up. You can tie it up around your waist in a little bit of a knot to make it a little dressier. You can wear it just free flowing. You can layer with plaid. Plaid is an awesome, awesome way to just go, to, you know, you're going to go out camping. You're going to go sit by a fire. You know, that way can be really casual. But I think particularly this, this shirt, the fact that the cutout shoulder peekaboo shoulder thing is totally in. I actually think that it adds a little bit of a dressier element to this. I think this would be super cute with like, gosh, you could do some mixed mediums here. You could do like a lace tank top underneath or even like a satin and then wear that with like a pencil skirt or a pair of dressy, dressy pants. You could dress up this particular style. Now, I want to tell you it is lightweight. It's a very soft, it's not a, you know how there's like, like cheaper flannels can sometimes be like scratchy and uncomfortable. No, 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 no. This, this is buttery. It is soft. I love the patterns on this. I believe this came in some other colors. Now in this plaid, I size down. This is the Abound brand from Nordstrom Rack. I size down to an extra small. Normally I'm a small across the board in most women's sizing, but I think this runs a little bit larger in the chest area, which is actually a good thing for 
for these types of button-up shirts because you know if it's too tight you can't even get it over and I mean you feel a little good about yourself because like mm, do these babies grow <laughs> but at the same time like you want to be comfortable so I sized down in this it got an extra small I just oh it's just it's a really nice one it's 55% cotton 45% viscose so it's got a little bit of a stretch to it and it hangs really nice on the body 100% cotton can sometimes be a little stiff, especially after you wash it or then you need to iron it. Um, this has that other, that viscose to it. So it's a very nice, soft, lightweight, free flowing, hugs the body nicely, but it's not like going to be too structured kind of a thing. And I just think it's stinking cute. Oh my gosh, if you're looking for a sweatshirt, but you don't want it to look like a sweatshirt and you don't want, you're not looking for like a hoodie, you're looking for something that could be either like just a comfy casual sweatshirt or something that's a little bit dressier. Like sometimes, I don't know about you, but if I'm going out at night and like you just really don't want to or you don't want to cook, you want to go out for dinner, but you don't want to have to get all dressed up, you want to still feel comfortable and casual, I reach for like a dressier sweatshirt because it's not gonna be tight to your body, it's gonna be comfortable, but yet a little bit dressy. So this next little shirt is almost not even like a sweatshirt material, but it is. I'll give you the breakdown in a minute here. This is the Gibson brand um, at Nordstrom. I, bu I bought a size small. This comes in a plethora of colors. You guys, I could not decide but red is one of my favorite colors. I think it's a flattering color on myself. And and red, I thought Christmas too. I thought winter, Christmas, a little red. I mean, how great would this be to go to dinner with, a, you know, like maybe a pair of dress pants if you're going to go out for dinner. But it's, it's like a sweatshirt material kind of, but dressier. Here, let me break it down what it actually is composed of here. The fabric is 96% rayon, 4% spandex. And the contrast material is 100% polyester, so that would be like the, the details or whatever. But I love this. It is so cute. It is so comfortable. It comes in so many different colors. I think you could put this on with like a, like a bold statement silver necklace. And I just think that just screams holiday party, doesn't it? But it's, it's like it's a comfortable way to go to a holiday party. I am all about comfort. I love fashion. I love to look cute and on trend or whatever. But... Not if I'm uncomfortable, because then that turns your attitude and how you feel into misery. And then you just can't wait to get home and rip it all off and, you know what I mean? You just can't wait to get comfortable. So, I love this. It's got a little bit of stretch to it, which I think is a good thing, because it kind of hugs some of your curves, like, aka your chest area. And kind of makes it look bigger than it might be, which is okay with me. Um, and so, I just really love it. I love it. It's comfortable, you know? And it's, it's comfortable, yet casual, yet stylish and on trend, you know? Don't you know? Oh, and these boots. Okay, so I went out shopping with my daughter one day and I was looking for a pair of over-the-knee boots. Now, if you've ever tried on a pair of over-the-knee boots, you, you will find out that you need to actually try them on because everyone's legs are shaped differently. And some over-the-knee boots are just huge in the thighs or they're, they're too big and they're just sloppy looking or they're too tight in the ankles or the footbed isn't quite right because when you put on an over-the-knee boot, you have to like put your foot into it and pull it up. So I found these and I love the color. I originally went out thinking I wanted a pair of black but I'm actually glad and satisfied with the color that I chose because I think it's going to be a little bit more universal. Um, I think it's going to take me a little bit easier from casual into evening. And it's just this beautiful... I, can you see a theme? Like, all of my fashion videos I've been doing recently, I'm more into, like, these charcoal gray colors. And I always never was a person that wore gray, owned gray, or liked any sort of gray. But I've been really into it lately. So these are from Treasure and Bond. I went with my size 8 in these. This is what the, um, the this, this part looks like. It has a heel on it. It's not too high. I'd say it's about, what, 3 inches maybe? It's wearable. Um, and then so here's the top. It has this cute little cutout, which I think adds a nice little dressy element, but it also allows for your knee to bend because it's not, like this part is cut out, just so imagine that's where your knee is bending. If this were brought up to be flush with this, it makes it hard and awkward for the boot and your leg to bend in the boot. So I appreciate that little detail about these. So these, I mean, with skinny jeans and big chunky sweaters, I just, I love it. I actually would pair these with something else I'm going to show you at the end, the last thing I'm going to show you, but I was too hot <laughs> to try to put these back on. We'll, we'll touch on that when we get there, but I love these. They're so comfortable, 
and um, they have a little bit of stretch to them. They're a suede boot as well. I'm really into suede. It adds a good amount of texture to your outfit. Um, so if you're doing like just very simple, plain look, but you add in a textured fabric, it adds texture to your whole look and it just kind of brings it together, you know? So I love these. They did come in, I believe, another color, but I just, I went for this color. All right. If there is anything, well, there's several things in this whole video that I think you should own, um, but if there's one thing I'd have to say to splurge on for yourself, it is a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. I've never heard one single negative thing about a Barefoot Dreams item. Um, I've watched a lot of QVC ladies talk about this, and um, I've heard a lot of people here on YouTube when they're doing different like fall outfits or things that they recommend. They're like, get a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Now, everybody and their mother has the circle cardigan, and it sold out again during the anniversary sale because I was hemming and hawing too long. But I actually like this one that I picked up instead. I like it so much better because, number one, it's longer, okay? I love that it's a little bit longer. Now these come in several colors. I opted for the black because it was the only one at the, at the time that they had left in a small. So this runs extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, uh, something like that. You know what I mean? It's like the, the size in a split. But So I went with the extra small, small. I got the black. I love that it has a hood because if you're just laying around your house and you're cold, you put that hood on, it's just so cozy. Or maybe you're traveling or you're on an airplane and you just want to like, Put on your headphones and tune everybody out. I love that it has the hood. Maybe you're having a bad hair day or maybe you gotta walk a really long ways in the wind and you, you forgot your hat. Get this on though and it's like, it's like you're being hugged. It's so soft, it's so comfortable. It's not a boxy, thick, comfortable, okay? You know there are those sweaters out there where you put it on and it's just really a thick fabric and it feels like a box and you feel like you can't move and you're just like stuck. No, this moves with you, just moves with you. It's like you're constantly being hugged. It has pockets, it has side slits so that you can move in it. It's not stuck around your butt, it's not stuck around your hips. I can't, I can't stand sweaters where you put it on and it looks cute from the front and then you go to like take a step and you're like stuck. You can only move your foot like a foot, like a, like a geisha would walk because the fabric is so constricting and there's no movement in the hips. Mm -mm, this, this gives you all that. So this is 75% nylon. 25% rayon. Mm, it's wonderful. Just just splurge. Get yourself this. For real. It's so good. It's They also make pants. They make socks. They make all kinds of things. Eventually, I'd like to own some more things, but I'm very, very satisfied with this cardigan. So I paired it with just a tank top underneath because it's still that warm time of year where if I put too many layers on, I'm going to be hot. So it's that time of year where you, put, you have on a tank top, but then if you go in the air conditioning, all right, now you're cold. So you can just throw on a cardigan or whatever. And I picked up two tank tops from Target. They have a new brand, and it is called, let me open this up, A New Day. And I bought size smalls in these tank tops. That cute little leopard print one is the one that I wore underneath the cardigan to show you. Great way to add in a little pattern. It's just with a cute little tank top. And then I also got it in this maroon color, which I really like. So the t-shirt that I had said I bought earlier is this color. So you can see how that pairs really well underneath this sweater as well. Okay, this next sweater, I, as soon as I seen this come back in stock, I had to buy it. I, as I said earlier, I'm a huge fan of comfy, chunky sweaters. I love a marled, I call this like a marled knit, but you know where you have several different color threads running throughout the fabric. Oh, I love this. I love this sweater. It's got stretch in it. This is by Free People. I purchased a size small. I love the details on this sweater. Okay, so you have a crew neck on it, but do you see how there's like this cutout? It just is a very, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like an extra... Just, what is this called? You know, like a collar? I'll show you on the sleeves here too. It's got the rolled up sleeves, which you can wear all the way down if you want, or you can wear it as a regular sweater, you know, like have it all the way down like this. I like to roll it up. It just kind of gives a more casual feel. And if you're actually like not just wearing the clothes and sitting still, you know, like you're actually working in your house or you're out doing stuff, it's nice to be able to roll up those sleeves. Um, it's got, this color is beautiful. It's a beautiful bright blue with the crisp winter white. Oh my gosh, I love this. This would look really pretty with white jeans. I know we're after September, but whatever. I think those rules are 
no longer valid. So this is 55% cotton, 36% linen, and 9% nylon. So you're going to want to hand wash this bad boy and lay it flat to dry. Um, but it is so comfortable. It's got a little bit of stretch in it. Like I said, it just, it just, oh, it just feels good. You know, you put it on and it's just like lightweight and free flowing and pair this with jeans and some cute booties. You're good to go. The black boots that I'm wearing I bought these last winter. I don't know if they're still available. If they are, I will link them below, or I will also link a similar style. But these are by Caslon, and these I got them. I got them on a good deal. Um, I don't. I don't even know what a full price of this would be. I think I paid like forty or fifty dollars for them. Um, so I bought a size eight. Uh, they are leather upper synthetic sole. It says this is what they look like. Just a little black booty. It's got the side zipper on the inside of your foot here. I liked them because they have traction. And if you are at all familiar with snow and winter, it's nice to have those cute boots. But if there's no traction on the bottom and you go to walk outside in the snow and the ice, you're never going to wear them again because you're going to be on your booty a million times throughout the day. So that's why I bought these because they're just, I don't know. They are practical, but still stylish and cute. And so those are the little black booties that I'm wearing in the um, inserts. This next sweater is just precious. I just think that it's just beautiful. I think about, you know, wearing this to church or wearing this to, um, you know, work, depending on what kind of job you have. But I am a huge fan of lace. I really am. And then when I seen that it's like this lightweight sweater material with this, oh, just beautiful crocheted lace. Oh my gosh, it just reminded me of like something from, you know, once upon a time kind of thing. I don't know what time period I'm thinking of. Maybe like, like the 20s, the 30s, I don't know, 40s. But look at that, isn't it beautiful? And this color is not normally something I ever have gravitated towards. Um, flesh toned, I like peaches, but anything that's too flesh toned usually doesn't look very good on me unless I wear a very bright lip or just something to liven my face. But I just thought there's something about this was just so sweet and precious. I, I, now, in the video, I'm, I'm wearing it with those same jeans because, like I said, it was way too hot to care about changing the bottoms of my jeans. Um, but I would probably pair this with not such a blue jean, maybe a pair of black jeans or some khakis. Khakis. Um, like a skirt, maybe. Oh, gosh. I mean, it's just so precious. It's just a beautiful, well-done little sweater. It does come in black. I think there was another color I did buy a small. This is the brand Halogen from Nordstrom. Looks like so. And it is a little bit lighter of a weight. So you can see it's a little bit sheer. I was wearing a white bra underneath it. But I think if you're at all concerned about that, wear a nude bra or wear a nude cami camisole underneath. This is 55% cotton, 25% modal. That's why I love it. Modal is amazing. Um, and then, uh, let's see, polyester, 20% polyester. And then, of course, it's got the lace, which is the cotton and the nylon. But, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so precious. I just think this is a great transition piece into fall and winter. I think this is actually a beautiful winter piece, too. You know, just very gorgeous. I paired that sweater because of the soft tones in that sweater. I would definitely, I wouldn't wear it with the blue jeans, but I would wear it with you know, something like a softer colored jean perhaps, and then a more muted boot. I think that this pairs really well. This color, these are Vince Camuto, is it recording? Yes, it is, okay. These are the Vince Camuto, um, I cannot remember the specific name of these, but I will have them linked, size eights. I had these in my um, school outfit, back to work, back to school lookbook um, video, and I talked about those there, so. These are a little a bit of a departure from my normal style, but you can see how the more muted tones just really work well together here. This next one is just kind of fun. You know, this is this is another play on a, like a sweatshirt. Comfy, like just comfy, you know. I, I like to be comfy. This is from um, Free People, and it's gray. And this is my first ever gray sweatshirt. I never buy gray. I just never really been into it. I think it's because it doesn't do a whole lot for me unless I have makeup on. I just look really washed out without makeup and in a color that doesn't really liven up my face kind of thing. But what I liked about this was that you can wear it a little bit off the shoulder. Totally can wear this in an evening out with some faux leather leggings and some high heels. Heck yeah. 
Um, so this is by Free People, and I believe I bought a size small, yes. And it's just, it's very lightweight, it's not heavy. A lot of these things are lightweight, you know, but when I think of fall, I think of layering, I think of lighter weight. I don't necessarily think of big, bulky, heavy things. Like, you can create that look by putting layers on, because, you know, in the fall, it's cool in the morning and it warms up and then cools back off again. And so it's nice to have those things with you. And so, let's see, this is made out of, let's see... We have 69% polyester, 31% cotton. Ugh, comfy. Put it a little bit off the shoulder. Put both of your shoulders off. Um, whatever, just play with it. I just love the shape of it. It's just very different. It's very free flowy. It's got a little bit of a dolman sleeve action going on here, which I don't always like because it kind of gives you the bat wing look. But if it's done right, I'm okay with it. If it's it's really exaggerated, it, it's just not my personal style. I don't I don't care for that. There was just something about the lines and the and the free flowing fabric and the way this laid on the body that I just was really drawn to. All right, so I walked out in this next thing, and my husband's like, "Oh, I like that." I'm like, "Oh, this is a very lightweight sweater. This I bought a size small. This is the brand BP." And I love a little bit of a feminine touch to a sweater or to something that initially would just be kind of like 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 a plain sweater or a plain sweatshirt could just be like whatever. But you add a little bit of a feminine touch to it and I'm just like zeroed in on it like, ooh, I need that. This comes in a couple different colors, but I did end up with the black. I just love the ruffles. So ruffles are all the rage right now. You can turn on the television, any talk show, any celebrity. Everyone's got like a ruffle, like a bell sleeve or a ruffle here or there. Sometimes it's very flattering. Other times it's a little bit over the top for my taste or for what I would deem everyday use. Um, this is a light ruffle. Um, I think ruffles in the right place can be good. Um, in the wrong place, not so good because it's extra fabric, it's gonna add some volume. But this is a very lightweight sweater, so it's already not boxy. I love the cutouts. The cutouts in it are just, my husband's like, what's up with all these shoulders showing? I'm like, it's on trend, honey. And I think it's a very flattering way to show some skin. I don't think skin needs to be shown here necessarily all the time to be sexy. I really don't. In fact, I think it's quite the opposite. I think showing a little bit of shoulder is way sexier than showing this. I mean, everyone knows you got that. You know what I mean? You might not be with me on that, but that's totally okay. I just think that this is just a stunning, lightweight. It's very lightweight. In fact, for some of you, you might think you want to wear a cami under it. I don't think it's terribly see-through. I mean, can you see me? Maybe not. <laughs> but it's just, it's just, it's a nice, it's a nice lightweight sweater. If you're going to put a, a jacket over it, like a leather jacket over this, you don't want a bulky sweater on because then you can't get that leather jacket on or you can't get your arms back down. You might look cute, but you're like, man, I can't move. All right. Oh, and we're to the last thing. All right. So the last thing is a dress. Now I'm going to tell you right now, this is a basic piece. You can take this in so many different directions. In fact, I would absolutely pair it with these tall boots. I just could not, I was so sweaty, I could not even get myself to put these on. Um, I would absolutely pair it with a pair of over the knee boots. I would pair it with some heels. Um, as you'll see in the footage, I'm pairing it with just a pair of low booties. The reason this dress you can take in so many directions, you could pair it with some Converse's, it's very casual. You could put a jean jacket over it. I was going to put on a scarf, but it was like, too hot, too hot. I wasn't going there. Absolutely adorable with a scarf. Wear it with a little leather jacket. It's just one of those pieces that can go in so many directions. Now, this is the brand Leaf, and I bought a small. As you can see, it hugs all of my curves. If you want a looser fit, I would definitely size up. In fact, I almost want to go back and buy a medium in a different color just because it's going to create a more of a casual look if it's not so tight. Um, I didn't intend for it to be that tight, but I guess I didn't realize how many curves mama had going on. Um, but this is very flattering. It has the side ruching on the dress, so it's not it's not going to like, ugh, you know, suck you in where you feel like you're getting all the air knocked out of you. It creates a little bit more movement because of the ruching. Um, you can, you know, roll the sleeves up to the three-quarter sleeve. I like that it has the slit in the front, but it's not a dangerously high slit. It's just a little bit, a little bit sexy, but not like, ugh. You know, I don't know. I just, I don't like to be too, too out there with my, my clothing, you know? <laughs> I'll let my personality be the one that's out there. So, um, I love this. And yes, I bought it in gray, which is shocking. It comes in several different colors. 
Um, but once again, if you want something that's a little bit more looser of a fit, size up. But I love that this can go from incredibly casual with a pair of Converse's and a jean jacket to dressy with some boots, a statement necklace, a leather jacket. You could throw this sweater that I'm wearing over it. This is just a basic dress that I think is a staple for a fall wardrobe, really. I mean, especially a transitional fall, fall wardrobe like down here in Texas, like mm, still a little bit hot, but if we have a cool day, I can still wear the dress and I can layer. I can throw stuff on top of it. To quickly show you the leather jacket that I paired with it, this is the Vince Camuto uh, leather jacket. I have a petite size small because a lot of jackets are a little bit too boxy for me. This is what it looks like. I did buy this, not this year, I want to think a couple years ago, but I'm almost positive he still makes leather jackets. And I mean, there's a lot of different places that make them, but I would recommend him. Um, I'm very pleased with this this leather jacket. It's a lamb uh, skin one, so it's, it's like a very buttery, buttery, soft uh, leather jacket. And I wanted one that had nice details, so I love the silver hardware, which kind of makes it a little bit more casual. I don't know, I just feel like silver is more casual than gold. Um, I love that it has this detail right here. You can see, I tried it on for you. It's not It's not a motorcycle jacket where it has the, the buckles hanging down because I don't find that practical at all. If anything, I put it on and I'm like, I got all this extra stuff hanging. How am I supposed to like carry my groceries? My groceries are gonna get caught, you know what I mean? And I can just see my groceries going all over the place kind of thing. I'm very practical minded, I really am. Um, but I really enjoy this. I would recommend, um, you know, taking a look at a nice quality leather jacket. Now this is definitely an investment piece, you know, but if that's not your forte, by all means they make a whole bunch of cute like faux leather jackets too. Like I'm actually on the hunt for a faux leather jacket that's lightweight, that's like thinner, like, you know, like a thinner sweater would be that I can actually um, layer with. Okay, that is it. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Probably pretty long because I had a lot of things I wanted to share with you. But I really, really love all these pieces. I think they're all great. I think they're all comfortable. And I, I feel confident recommending all of these things to you. I think you would really enjoy them. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know um, if you would like me to do a winter lookbook. Um, now, a winter one down here might be a little bit different than what I would make if I were up in my home state of Wisconsin making a winter <laughs> lookbook. <laughs> um, but We'll keep the ice ones in the closet. We will not drag those out. Uh, so let me know if that's something that interests you. I would totally enjoy doing that. There will not be snow on the ground, but maybe we can, you know, throw up a snowman and <laughs> a little ho, ho, ho. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll chat soon.